loves, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Shinta Brown. And today we are gonna be talking about five essential things that you need to know when decorating your dining room. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new, welcome to the family. Comment below, give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. And don't forget to share this video with someone who just bought a home or are thinking of remaking their dining room. And to my returning subscribers, you know I love you. Thanks for tuning in. So let's get into it. As we all know, the dining room is an area where family, friends gather, people come in and eat delicious meals and everything of that nature. So you want to create an ambiance or a dining room that is perfect for hosting. Today, we are gonna talk about the items I picked and why I picked them, as well as go over five things that you should keep in mind when you're selecting your items for your home, okay? Number one on the list is choosing the right dining table. Choosing the right dining table is important. It depends on the spacing of the area, okay? Is it a small area? Is it a big area? How many people are in your home? How many family members do you have? Are you somebody that likes to host big dinner parties? Or are you someone that keeps a very intimate dining area for just you and your family or household members only? Okay, those are things that really are important to remember, right? So you wanna think about the sizing, okay? Do you want a oval? Do you want a square? Do you want just a little eating kitchen where the kids can do their homework and it's good and easy to go? For me, I opted for a tempered glass top dining table that sits six, but then extends to 10. So this is an electric dining table. I was able to find this at Nebraska Furniture Mart and it comes with a remote as well as a manual piece underneath that you can use to extend this table. So as I said, it starts with a six seater, but then it can go up to a 10. So let's extend so you can see what I'm saying. So with the push of the button, I'm allowed to hit the button and that all the ends of the table will then extend out here, which would allow me to add two more or four more seatings if needed to be. I think this is awesome. I think it's very cool. I haven't seen an electric dining table. Um, I've always seen the manual ones. So when I was in Nebraska Furniture Mart, I saw this and I said, I have to grab this. Um, it's a nice little feature. What other thing that stood out to me was the tempered glass. The fact that I can clean off items so easily if things want to spill, right? When you have spills, you can't really do that with wood in tables as easily. So for me, tempered glass was just the way to go. Cleaning wise and then <laughs> having it extending out like so. So with a push of the button, I'm able to bring it back down when it's just my household members only, which is perfect for Thanksgiving, it's perfect for holidays, birthday parties, whatever it is. When you have guests over and you need to extend that, it's a perfect feature. So that's something to keep in mind. Are you gonna need something to extend and when you have a lot of guests over, or are you gonna need something for just your household members only? So keep that in mind. Also, again, measuring the area is important because items sometimes come in and it may be too big for the space or too small. You definitely want to stick with medium size. For me, I opted for this, again, because I felt like it made sense in the space. 
um, and when it extends out, there's still some type of spacing there and room for walking. So that is important to keep in mind as well. So second on the list is lighting. Lighting is key, lighting is important. Lighting means so much to me. I don't know if you've noticed how my eyes are lighting up just by talking about lighting. Lighting makes a room as a statement on, of its own, right? So the lighting here, I'm not gonna take the credit for it. It came with the home. <laughs> but I felt that it was beautiful enough to keep and it also went well with the tempered glass and my dining table vibe because the base was also silver. I love the fact that it had like the ring, gives you like the new modern farmhouse type of lighting vibe, but I also felt that it was intimate enough, right? Because it has like these candle looking things where if I wanted to add candles one day and do a, like a candle lit dinner or whatever idea that comes through my crazy mind, it will go well with it, right? And at night, lighting this up, it just looks really beautiful. It is the statement piece of the room, okay? It is the heart of the home, as your dining room should be. So, again, lighting is so important. You want something that is going to speak for the room when you enter. You want something that will make a statement in your dining area when people come or when sitting down. It's just like, huh? It is the staple piece. Just like a centerpiece on your table, it is the staple piece. So always keep lighting in mind. Also, nowadays they have lightings that um, you're able to dim, right? So these dimmable lightings also can add to a very intimate dinner if you're doing that at home, right? Like let's say for my young couples or my older couples who like to have dinner at home and you wanna do it for your husband or you wanna do it for your wife and you wanna set the mood instead of going out for dinner, having a dimmable light and you know, candle lits and things like that can really create a beautiful ambiance for you. So lighting, lighting, lighting is key. In any home, every home, every area, remember, lighting. I cannot emphasize on that enough. <laughs> So number three on my list is choosing complementary colors. For example, here at my di dining table area, I have the tempered glass, and you can see that they're a chrome or silver colored base. I have the silver chromey color here at the light as well, and I've brought it in also with my plant that I've had for about five years now. <laughs> I didn't know where to put it and I decided to make it a, a little piece here as the focal point. I went ahead and did something different. With this chair, I kept the color of the grayish tone, light vibe there, but with the legs, I added a little gold, but the gold is your brass type. It's soft, it's not harsh, it's not loud to the eyes, so, no one said you can't mix metals. No one said you cannot bring different elements or colors into a room. You just need to make sure that when you're planning, when you're buying your items, they all need to be cohesive. So this color here goes well with my wooden floors. It also blends in and ties in with all the colors there with the rug that I have underneath my table. I also went ahead and added three mirrors and I got these from Ikea just to add something different, you know, to the wall instead of having a plain wall. I always admire dining rooms with mirrors. And the reason I personally like that is the fact that when you have your family gathered together, you're laughing, you have dinner, you're, you know, everyone's in a good mood and the food is going all around and you look up to the mirror and you can see, you know, everyone enjoying themselves at the moment. And I think that is so beautiful. So I wanted to implement that by adding three pieces of Ikea mirrors just to, you know, <laughs> change the, 
the vibe of the room and also make it look really cute. I think it goes well with each other. I did get this in black instead of silver, but I think it's fine because I have black elements through my home. So it all, again, makes sense. I've tied them all together. And as we tour this house and you see different rooms, you'll understand why this is black. Okay, so again, I'm going to say, make sure that when you're buying your items, you are picking things that would work in a room cohesively with each other, color-wise. Um, make sure that it makes sense, because if not, things will just be popping out all over the place and you're not gonna like it and you're gonna wanna send it back and sometimes you can send it back and get your money back. So um, plan, plan things out. I like using Canva, putting the items all out in like a blank sheet and just putting them together to see if they work cohesively. In my mind, they might, but on a blank sheet of paper, they may not work together. So that always helps me. I can go through that if you leave me a comment down below. If you wanna see how I plan my items out in a room, I can definitely show you what I do. Just leave me a comment and tell me, hey Chantel, we definitely wanna see that. So next up is number four, and that is storage, right? You wanna have storage in your dining area or near your dining area for the special plates, your special china, all of those things. Um, for me personally, I was thinking of having a credenza here. I'm not really sure if I still wanna do that or not because I feel like it will take away space from here where I need to have a chair here when my huge family comes over. So I'm thinking I'm gonna opt out from adding some storage spacing here, but I do have everything lined up in a way that it is accessible from my kitchen. My dining area is in the kitchen area, thankfully for me, um, so I don't need to have a storage specific area, but if you have a dining area away from your kitchen, I will definitely suggest thinking about a storage area for your plates, your china, your napkins, and all of those things. Me personally, I don't need to because it's in my kitchen area. So that's something to think about. So number five is adding personal touches. So again, like I said, I've had this centerpiece for five years, okay? Sometimes if it's, well, there's a saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's nothing wrong with this beautiful piece. I've used to have it in my bathroom um, right over the vanity and I decided to put it here because I didn't know what to do with it and I felt like it looked better here. Please put in the comments, do you like where I put my centerpiece or do you think I should change it to something more updated, <laughs> more modern? I think it's okay. But um, yeah, adding something to you know your center table, adding personal touches, little details, even if you wanna set your table up, I've seen that. Setting the table already with your bowls, your spoons and everything like that, go ahead, put your little personal touches, make the room feel like yours and enjoy. And I'm sure with these five tips, you will find this experience rewarding, okay? As well as refreshing because now you know what you're doing, you know the colors you're picking and it can just be less stressful now because now you know how to plan everything out and you can actually just enjoy your dining room with your family and your friends. I hope that this video was helpful for you and if you found it helpful and you know someone who needs something like this, go ahead and share this video. Again, thanks for watching. Bye now.